Musilio Adeola Smith and Amadou Shaidu were like household names in the Nigeria Police Force many years ago when they had the singular privilege of serving their fatherland in different capacities in the Nigeria Police Force. While Musilio Adeola Smith from Lagos State rose to the pinnacle of his career as an Inspector General of Police, the late Ahmadu Shaidu from Kogi State of Nigeria before he retired from the Nigeria Police Force was an Assistant Inspector General of Police, AIG. However, both Alhaji Musilio Smith and the late Ahmadu Shaidu enjoyed a close relationship and close proximity in terms of where they lived for a very long time, especially when their children were growing up. Two of their children, Atiat Olubumi, the daughter of former IGO police Musilio Smith, and Mohammed Lawal Olufemi, Shaidu, son of the late AIG Amadu Shaidu, took the advantage of the closeness of their parents to become childhood friends. They both religiously kept their childhood affection and the chemistry aglow. Even though Mohammed Olorun Femi Shaidu was away on academic surgeon to the United States for a long time. That did not stop them from following their early childhood relationship up to when they became intimate partners and confident enough to let their parents into the secret of their marriage plans. That's the happy story of the Smith family from Lagos State and the Shoidi family from Kogi State that brought friends, relatives and loved ones of both families to the Tafa Balewa Square on Thursday 5th January 2012 for the first leg of the three-legged wedding program between Atiat Olubumi Smith and Mohammed Lawal Olorofemi Shaidu. With the kind of traditional music popular among the Kogi people resonating in the air, the families of the groom armed with a letter of intent amidst pomp and pageantry headed for the arena, handed the letter to the mother of the bride, Mrs. Smith, who in turn respectfully gave the letter to her husband and they both prayed for the letter. The content was later read to the hearing of everyone soon after. The acceptance letter, which came in a very special form, was received by the mother of the groom and other family members as the traditional music of the Kogi people again took center stage. They joyously danced towards parents of the bride and relished the happy moment together. This was the green light the groom had long waited for. The tall, lanky, handsome, dark-looking split image of his late father, Mohammed Lawal Olonfemi Shaidu, accompanied by his friends, entered the arena graciously with Kogi traditional music in the air. He exchanged respectful courtesies and pleasantries towards his parents-in-law and his own parents, who warmly received and blessed him. Of course, the next in the order of the sequence of such ceremony will be the appearance of the bride, who did not disappoint at all as she came in with a large retinue of her friends singing and dancing. She also gave towards her parents and parents-in-law, where they all took turns to bless her. Asked to pick her choice item from the dowry items brought by her in-laws, the bride went for the Quran in which the groom digs out the engagement ring which she affixes on her finger. Gospel music crooner Yinka Yefele provided entertainment to formally close the traditional engagement ceremony between Atiat Olubumi Smith and Mohammed Lawal Olorunfemi Shehidu. <laughs>
The Nikah ceremony, which is to solemnize a marriage in Islamic way, took place at the Civic Center in Lagos. Among dignitaries in attendance was Secretary of State Governor Alhaji Ali Wamako, the Oba of Lagos, Oba Rilwa and Akiolo I, and the former Minister of Justice of the Federation, Bola Ajibola. The sermon was preached by Ustaz Mohammed, the chief imam of Ansaruddin Society of Nigeria, who advised the couple to be close to their Qurans, which they should contact always for guidance. In a show of love, as if to demonstrate that they have imbibed the preachings of the highly referred Muslim cleric, the groom gives his bride the Qur'an as a special gift right on his knees. The bride was then formally handed over to her mother, Mrs. Smith, who also hands her over to her father, who now joins her with her husband amidst prayers for the success of the marriage. Quickly, the registry officials conducted the next aspect of the marriage rites, where former age of police Musilius Smith, father of the bride, publicly proclaims that he has willingly given his daughter according to Islamic rights to her husband and hands her over to the mother-in-law and bride and groom come together properly before the public. The signing of the marriage register, where the certificate is formally presented to them and more prayers brings that aspect of the event to a close. Tafa Balewa Square, Lagos, played host to a large assemblage of dignitaries from different walks of life who looked in an upbeat mood with thanks to God for seeing a new year. It was indeed a day the Smiths and Shadows basked in the goodwill of their friends and well-wishers. The women from the Smith side, led of course by Mrs. Smith, mother of the bride, supported by her large and colorfully dressed legion of friends and family members, dressed in a brown colored dress, danced into the arena in high spirit. <laughs> father of the bride, Mr. Musilio Smith, looking regal in his richly embroidered traditional attire, and his friends and family members also savored the joy of the occasion through hearty dancing. family of the groom with all their friends led by the mother of the groom and later the groom's father's representative also danced in a jazz mood to the arena. <laughs> The bridal train's arrival at the venue heralded the presence of the couple in the arena. Atiyat and Mohammed indeed hit the arena with a loud bang. It was simply difficult not to notice that special arrival at the venue, which they did with absolute concentration. The couple's dance steps were indeed a great spectacle that captivated everybody at the venue. The chairman of the occasion was Chief Bola Jibola, Nigeria's former High Commissioner to the United Kingdom and former Attorney General and Minister of Justice. He was full of praises for the spirit of love and camaraderie that exists among the police, which the children getting married are directly benefiting from through marriage, a foundation they laid in the barracks decades ago when their parents were friendly neighbors. The chairman who said he was also a byproduct of the police system, as his own father was a chief inspector of police in the olden days, said he spoke from the position of knowledge, given the antecedent he explained, 
He presented the Holy Quran to the couple and admonished them to read the Quran all the time because it will lead them aright. The Quran, he said, is an agent of justice, respect and love. Chief Bola Ajibola concluded by calling the couple out to publicly present them with the Quran. The cutting of the wedding cake was supervised by Alhaja Sino to Jukutu, Lagos State former deputy governor, who asked all to recite the Fatia. The toast of the couple was presented by T.A., popular comedian. The bridal dance followed. The couple, their colleagues and enlarged family members joined in the convivial atmosphere that ensued. We heartily congratulate the Smith and Shady families on the success of the marriage of their children. God bless them.